Hey guys, welcome to the Next Gen Podcast, March 10th, 2022. I've been cleaning my room for the last 24 hours. I did go to sleep or whatever, got rid of a lot of stuff, and now I'm just down to one big pile. I did notice that I was super tired and I like couldn't even answer my phone. I was like, this is so weird. You know, I'm a hustler. I love to talk on the phone and do deals and talk to people. And I just like couldn't even, everything's just going to voicemail. And then I looked and my desk was actually underneath a beam. And in feng shui, that's like really not good. So I moved my desk to a new area and it actually looks like there's a lot more light on my face now. So that's awesome. And after I move this desk, I tell people, you know, they try to schedule a call or a Zoom with me. And I just say like, my schedule is all over the place. I can't even schedule with you. You just call me in divine timing. And Son, Sean Sanchez called me and we had an amazing talk. Oh my gosh. It's like, I'm getting rid of all of this stuff in my room and processing a lot of things people are now coming to me and he nailed it. He was like, it was just so natural to be like, Hey, you know, what are your goals for March? Okay. Like you need to buy my 50 year planner and we need to stay in touch. Cause the last time that we talked was a year ago and a year is too long. I can't talk to people once a year. I want to talk to people once a month. And he bought the 50 year planner and now we are going to be talking on the fourth Saturday of every month at 7 a.m. and catching up. And I said, here, here are some things that I want you to hold me accountable for. And there's some things that I'm holding him accountable for. And he's doing a coaching program too. And he's in life insurance. So what a great connection. Also, I watched these YouTubes on poverty and kids in poverty and how hard it is for kids in poverty and kind of just like studying poverty and poverty mindset worrying about money makes you worry more about money being sad and worried that you can't pay your bills a lot of people can't get out of this vicious cycle so I said okay what is the easiest way to get out of this like limited money mindset And I came up with a solution. I hope you're ready to hear it. It's being happy about how much money you have and being grateful for how much money you have. Like right now, today, just being like, you have $5 in your account. I'm so grateful for this $5. Like, thank you so much. I'm so happy I got $5 in my account. And having this vibrational shift of being happy about the amount of money you have is going to attract more money into your life. And when I watch the videos, it's like poverty is passed down generation to generation because this mindset is passed down generation to generation, which is so sad. And poverty is in my world, a sin. Like it is, that is the biggest sin that you could do to somebody is Poverty is hard for people. Poverty is depressing. Poverty is limiting people from their true potential. And if it's just a mindset issue, fine. Like I'm ready to solve this problem. Like, let's go. So if you want more money, which I know so many people in this world do, have this mindset. Be happy about how much money you have. Be happy. Tell yourself, I'm so happy about all the money that I have created so far and all the money that I'm about to create. And there's so many wonderful income streams coming to me. And as I clean out my own room, like I just sold a 50 year planner today. Like I might as well just be the queen of 50 year planner because this was my mindset changing. And I was like, how come nobody's buying my 50 year planner and how come nobody's using it? No, it's like, it's me. It was all me. And my limiting belief. So I put it on Facebook. I was like, I'm a crazy artist. And I just wanted to create an art piece. Like, this is not a plan. This is my art piece. I am an artist. This is my art piece. This is who I am. 
that helps me become a better human being in, on planet Earth. Art that helps me become a better human being on planet Earth, following up with people, talking to them about their goals, talking to them about themselves, and talking to them about myself. Like, oh, everything just so came together. And it's because I woke up, I went to bed saying, I'm so happy with all the money. I changed my phone cover. It's not, it's over there. And I did a green phone cover and I was like, I am happy about all the money that I have. And this money mindset shift is what you're going to need to succeed in any business that you do, any life that you do. Like, was I working harder? Not really. I was just talking to someone that has been following me on Facebook, that loves my energy, that is you know, just super passive like me, but like wants to help people. And it's amazing. Like, yeah, let's just want to do this like a zillion times. And I just said, my calendar is open for people that have bought my 50 year planner, DM me and let's work together because I love the one-on-ones. I also love group planning. And this is what I want to do in my life. You know, keep, planning and eventually these people want to buy houses so I mean genius real estate strategy where I'm not bugging you saying you got to buy a house and blah 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 no just tell me what's going on with your life like let's let's create this connection and this if your planner totally does that so I just had like a major breakthrough I still have not found my tax returns and um I don't know I don't know trailer it's on my map I kind of changed my map a little bit because it was like, if I'm going to stay in Sacramento, then I need to buy a house here in Sacramento. So there's kind of two maps here. It's me in a trailer or me staying in Sacramento in my own home. I should buy a house here in Sacramento. I think Sacramento is great. I think Sacramento is one of the best places to buy a house. You know why? Because there's so many old houses here. It, the biggest natural disaster that could happen in Sacramento is a flood, and that has not happened in a very long time. And even if it does happen, just water damage, you'll see in the downtown area, a lot of homes have basement apartments, and they're built up. And that's because flooding was the biggest, biggest problem. I don't see a lot of fire problems here because we have two of the biggest rivers in the country. There's so much water in the air. It is so wet here. It's so moist here. And everything around Sacramento burns, but Sacramento doesn't really seem to burn, which is great because California has a ton of fires. So I can literally in 2022 walk into houses that are 100 years old and thinking about like, you could have kept best house in your family forever, like forever. Like, the biggest reason I think Sacramento is the best place to live is because Stanford Mansion, my favorite place to go for free here in Sacramento, is still standing. And Stanford was a really, really rich guy who got his money in gold and then started the, he funded the railroads and going that across, you know, the country. His son died. He when his son died, he created the Stanford University, which is right next to my dream home in Atherton. And he had houses in San Francisco now and in Hop Hill. And those houses burned down because of the earthquake and fires. So if you're going to build a mansion, I definitely recommend doing it in Sacramento. You will have the longest life for a house out here. Yes, it's hot in the summers. Kind of get used to it. And you don't have to be here in the summer. You could have a second home somewhere where it's cooler. I don't even want to be here in the summer this year. It's too dang hot. But it's a good place to live because your house will last forever, forever. And there's so much farm and it's flat because, you know, you want to grow your own little organic farm or whatever. You can because it's flat. It's not up in the hills. So I had a huge breakthrough. I still have a big pile of paperwork that I need to go through and some other things that I'm going through and I'm letting go of everything. I literally take items in my hands. So look, I have this rock 
says, no, my dad gave me this rock. I'm holding onto a rock because my dad gave it to me, but I love it. Um, but everything that I don't love, I'm getting rid of because Things that you don't love that surround you are blocking you from things that you do love coming into your life. Just get rid of it. Donate it. Give it to them. Like, be a giver. <laughs> and you'll get so much. Like, I have some of the stuff I just got for free and I helped other people unload. I got that sweatshirt for free. I got all this stuff for free. And it's like, if I'm not in love with it, I'm break up with it. It's okay to break up with your items that you are not in love with because you should only be surrounded with items that bring you joy, that bring you energy. Your personal space is your energy and how you live your life. So surround yourself with things that give you the highest energy, the highest vibration, and the highest life force ever. And you're going to do well. You're going to succeed. And just thank all the money that you have and just be so happy with all the money that's coming to you. And believe me, your business will flourish. Your life will flourish. It's not necessarily that you have to work harder. It's just you have to change your vibration. We're, we're vibrational beings in this universe. And just changing your vibration, raising your vibration, being happy. Can you be happy today? Yes, you can. Like, how much does it cost to smile? Not much. Just your mindset and knowing that life is here for you and that everything is working out for you and you deserve to be happy and you deserve the best. That's what I have to say today. And updating your map. Because uh, that Sean's in Las Vegas. Do I need to move to Las Vegas? I would love to move to Las Vegas. I would love to move to Las Vegas. Las Vegas is awesome and it's world renowned. And I am a world renowned person. So I love Cal. And there's no, there's like no taxes out there. Like California has so many taxes in Las Vegas that like, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling a pull to Las Vegas. So. We'll see what's happening. I'm still in Sacramento. And I'm just cleaning my room. So if you have business inactivity, if you have money issues, if you are feeling down and depressed, get a cup of coffee, get a Red Bull, get some caffeine flowing, get some good music flowing, and clean your room and get rid of everything that is bringing you down. And start being happy, like right now, like right, right, right now. Like right this second. Okay. Cool. Love you guys. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to get to this uh, pile of stuff. And I'm also working on not being critical with myself. So I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, I don't feel like going to the gym. I'm such a bad person. If I don't go to the gym before eight o'clock, I get <coughs> my uh, talk, negative self talk. I was already like hurting my throat. So I just said, you know, what? I don't feel like going to the gym today. That's okay. I have some other things that I'm interested in. That's okay. And I went to the gym later and that was perfect. And uh, I haven't been to the gym in a while. So I just wanted to like get back into going to the gym. I was really fatigued. And hopefully my new desk setup will help that. I think I look better and it's more light. And yeah, so that what's going on with me I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will talk to you tomorrow bye bye love you love yourself be happy be happy about money be happy about money be happy about money and watch it come to you because yeah yeah